akam jirtu barattoota nagaa keessani barattoota barnoota keessan geography qayyabachuudhaan qabti boonsa fiddani gara university ti seenu barbaadu barattoota ega misen summa keessan geo lesson 17 tiw toora channel youtube kenya wajjin yo taatan kuni hundumtu salbaar geo lesson 17 tiw barnoota keessan geography rat isin qayyabachi suudan gafi wan barabaran qormata biyaa lesa rati dufanis isin ifojete akka isin abju keessani fi fedi keessan ugon fatanif geo lesson 17 tiw bin isin wajjin abate jira isinis geo lesson 17 tiw subscribe gochuudan Sen summa kesan geo lesson 17 tv wajin akat asistan isin affaira inda man allachu tamariyoj dana nachu be geography tamirtachu kafetanya na amerki yona wute tizachu wede university makalakal tfelkalachu tamariyoj kallalno geo lesson 17 tv youtube channel achinen takalakalu le siketachu taganachuna inna bakachu allen kenya gara bamahon siketon wun yadirgu na masagnalen geo lesson 17 tv bin subscribe share like bamadreg yikalakalun sinir gibjachin mahonun بأكبرت إنجل سالة مالكام يتمرت زمن مالكام يتمرت آمد يهون لاجو choose the correct answer from the given alternatives question number one what is the implication of low level of urbanization in Africa A. low cost of urban transport facilities B. low rate of urban to urban migration C. low rate of rural to urban migration D. low living standard of urbanization students Africa is known with having highest rate of urbanization with 5.4%. This is resulted from very high rate of rural to urban migration and high fertility in the urban areas. Africa is characterized by low level of urbanization. This results there is low living conditions, low social services, low housing standards, and low transportation and the communications. The answer for question number one is D. Low living standard of urban population is the implication of low level of urbanization in Africa. Question number two. According to 2009 data sheets, the most urbanized region of Africa is A. Western Africa B. Northern Africa C. Southern Africa D. Eastern Africa Students, the most urbanized region in Africa is Southern Africa with 56% of its population living in urban areas. The answer is C. Question number three. Of the following African region, which one is characterized by high urbanization rate? Students, in terms of urbanization rate, Eastern Africa is known with having highest urbanization rate and followed by Western Africa. So the answer is A. Question number four. Among the following, which one is the main impact of rapid urbanization in urban areas of Africa? A. Theft-related crime. B. Language difficulties. C. Improper waste disposal. The major impacts of urbanization in urban areas of Africa are 1. Waste disposal problems. 2. Shortage of potable water. 3. The scarcity of shelter. 4. Food insecurities. Five healthy facilities and the like are the major impacts of rapid urbanization in urban areas. So the answer for question number four is C improper waste disposal. Question number five. In which region of Africa is the highest level of urbanization found? A Southern Africa. B Eastern Africa. C Northern Africa. D Western Africa. The students. Western Africa and the Northern Africa are respectively known with high urbanization rates. But in level of urbanization, Eastern Africa is lowest. So B is the correct answer. Here you can see this note. Eastern Africa is the most populous, followed by Western and the Northern Africa, as well as Eastern Africa, has the highest crude density. Question number six. What is the main reason for high population growth in urban centers compared to the rural areas of Ethiopia? A. Rural to urban migration. B. Limited use of family planning services in rural areas. C. High fertility rates in urban areas. D. Difference in early marriage. Students. Rural to urban migration is the major factor for the population growth in urban areas of Africa and Ethiopia. So the answer is A. Question number seven. Which of the following is correct about the population of Africa? A. 
Africa is the most populous continent in the world. B. North Africa is the most densely populated region of Africa. C. The African population is characterized by long leveling time. D. The rate of population growth in Africa is the fastest in the world. Good. Students, is Africa the most populous continent in the world? No. Asia is the most populous continent from the world. So A is not the answer. B. North Africa is the most densely populated region of Africa. It says, is it North Africa is the most densely populated? No. Eastern Africa is the most densely populated. The African population is characterized by long doubling time. Is it true? No. African populations are known with short doubling time. So the rate of population growth in Africa is the fastest. As a result, D is the answer. Question number eight. Which one of the following countries is known for its antinatalist population policy? Antinatalist population policy means denouncing or depopulation. Whereas the reverse, pronatalist population policy is encouraging birth rates and the population growth. So A, United States of America, B, North Korea, C, France, D, China. China is known with having antinatalist policies. Question number nine. One of the following is not the major destination of the intracontinental labor migration in Africa. A, citrus and the vine plantation of Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco. B. The gold and the diamond mines of the Republic of South Africa. C. Oil fields of Nigeria and North Africa. D. The Denakil Salt Plains of Afar Afar region of Ethiopia is not intracontinental, which means the movement of peoples with the same continents. Ethiopia to Nigeria, Nigeria to Ethiopia, for example, is. Question number 10. What kind of mining technique is mainly used to extract coal and the metal near the surface of the ground? A. Open pit mining. B. Placer mining. C. Quarrying. D. Strip mining. Let's see the following discussions. Mineral extraction methods in Africa. 1. Placer mining. Placer mining is the most common mining methods among the societies who are living near the river valleys. From the excavation of sand, gravel, clay, or silt. Mineral mines included in placer mining areas are gold, platinum, tin, and diamond, which are brought to the surface by erosion. The second is strip mining. Strip mining is uncovering and removing coal, metal, or a mineral that is near the surface of the ground as a rough of the surface of the air, which means whereas quarrying is open excavation from which any useful stone is extracted for building and also engineering purposes as well as the options required to obtain rocks in useful form from a quarry the correct answer for this question is d question number 11 what is the main reason that makes intracontinental trade to be low in Africa? A. The diverse nature of the economy. B. Lack of political willingness. C. Absence of common currency. D. Limited access to sea transport. Students, the intracontinental, the intercontinental or interregional trade in Africa are affected by one, the similarity of products. Two, the lack of common currency. There is no common currency among African countries. For example, in Ethiopia, the currency is bur, but for Kenya is shilling, and for the others are also different. Okay. The third, lack of foreign currency. There is lack of foreign currency dollar among African countries. The false poor communication networks of all kinds. So intracontinental trade in Africa are become slow due to these common factors. The correct answer for question number eleven is absence of common currency among the African countries. Question number twelve. If a mineralogist from Algeria travels to Ethiopia to explore potash deposits in Afar region, what is this type of movement called? A. 
intracontinental migration b out migration c in migration d intercontinental migration students intracontinental migration is a movement of people within the same continent whereas intercontinental migration is the movement of peoples within a country for example from gojam to wallaga for the sake of collecting coffee so the correct answer is intracontinental a question number 13 according to 2009 population data sheet which of the following african region is known with lowest death rate a central africa b eastern africa c northern africa d southern africa it is better to look this here northern africa is known with seven record death rates whereas western africa and central africa have equal record death rates and eastern africa is recorded with 13 death rates southern africa is the maximum record death rate about 50 but the lowest is northern africa so the african region which is known with lowest death rate is according to the 2009 population data northern africa with seven death rates Helping nations africa is the only continent which is known with highest infant mortality rates region manner region manner northern africa is known with 38 infant mortalities whereas western africa is identified with 80 infant mortalities as well as here eastern africa is identified with 76 infant mortalities but here the highest peak central africa is known with 95 recorded infant deaths but southern africa is to the rivers known with lowest infant mortalities from regions of africa so the answer is d question number 15 which region of africa has the highest rate of mortality a western africa b northern africa c eastern africa d southern africa students as we have discussed earlier here southern africa is known with having 15 recorded maximum days in 2009 the answer is d question number 16 the migration of laborers from the highland region of ethiopia to the middle awash valley during the season of sugarcane harvesting is a permanent migration b temporary migration c intercontinental migration d rural to urban areas so from highland parts of ethiopia to the middle rift valley areas for the sake of the seasonal sugarcane harvesting is known as temporary or seasonal migration so the answer is c question number 17 the movement of young people for searching of job within the same continent is a intercontinental migration b permanent migration c seasonal migration d intracontinental migration okay so the answer for this question is d intracontinental question number 17 the movement of young people for searching of job within the same continent is a intercontinental migration b seasonal migration c permanent migration d intracontinental migration this is seasonal migration question number 18 what is the second most populous region in africa a southern africa b western africa c eastern africa d central africa western africa is the second most populous africa region next to east africa question number 19 blank is the soil conservation method that involves the covering of the soil with plant residues to conserve soil moisture and regain soil fertility a crop rotation b following c mulching d green manuring crop rotation is planting of different crops alternatively on the same farm with different years for example you may plant this year maize and for the next year you are expected to plant bees which can add the fertility of the soil green manure 
Green manure is using of plants that have soil nutrient value to enrich the soil in the same way that animal feces are used as fertilizer. This means green manuring means planting or cultivating with the soil fertility keeping products like that of peas, lentils, bees, and the like. Green manure is used to be 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 Green manure is used to be 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 used to Kazan, Armacho, Marliso, Bamaras, Kafaruga in the wire, Bamarag, Yafaru Laminet, in the Chamber Maragichal Malano, Davisani Koturan, Retehafa Harcha, Mukabakela, Mukatara, Mukamisrafi, Mukanugisan, Yolafoch in Davis Nikotu, Oktesuto Niro, Biofi, Gata, Bikolo Takana Wolimakan, Gabinabi, Devalu of Gati Kabu, Jechu. The other is mulching. Mulching is covering the soil with plant residue to let the soil regain moisture and are some nutrients as a residue decays. While I'm going to mulching in the In the beginning, the beginning is the beginning of 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 the Lafa gok sudan da usan akan nihim ba nega di itte sudan jid insa biye da balaya chul kanafu biye jid insa saka bate akayro era turu go chuf gargar inni buran yoro burkuta au titi biye kanat af gabbina da balur af ni dan dau following following ye chun lafi toko akabok onna ka batur af e yama ken nufi je chul wago gan bara bara tin kotur bar toko bar lama ulet fufin sang kota tani baro ta toko lama mo bok onna ken nifi lafi sun Aka lafabau gochu gochu. Okay. Following malat maritun kamaras masarraf malatun. But akata tay laarat la mista matat minar sikona andi nafar afaru la minatun yatal mita manatun ikanisal malanu. Selazi mita manatun inda ikanisal la minatun inda yata fikar mista thalab bin malanu. Andu la tamat but akata tay karasin andu la tamat demo lina sarrafau igapalno. Mulching is the correct answer. Question number twenty. Blank is a dark color soil type which have high content of shrinking and swelling clay minerals. This is automatically a vertisols. Vertisols are a black basaltic soils which have high clay contents. They have excellent nutrients that could provide support for agriculture, but, but they are poor in drainage qualities. And they are reasonably limited to the purpose of grazing. Whereas the second is rigosols. Rigosols are found in arid areas extending from West Africa to Ethiopia and Somalia. They are used for pastoralist grazing again. Question number 21. Which of the following type of soil is in Ethiopia limited to grazing purpose due to its poor drainage qualities? I have discussed earlier. So the answer is. A. Thank you for your watching.